Guess who? <laughs> Eric Darling. Darling Data. Recording a video about something in SQL Server. Shocking, I know. Shocks me every day. There's stuff to talk about still. Uh, you know. Maybe someday there will be something new, or maybe someday there will be nothing left to say. But until then, gotta keep going, I guess. Until I rub the eyebrows off my face. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, in this monster of a video, this absolute savage unit of a video, we're going to talk about, uh, well, for the, <laughs> because, for the sake of demo length, we're going to just talk about the, the greatest function, which is new to SQL Server 2022. But the, the greatest function is, was accompanied in, in release by the least function. So you can do greatest and least. Uh, right, so uh, every other database platform for like 20 years has had the greatest and least functions. And in sometime in 2020, 2021, uh, Microsoft said, oh, yeah, we better play catch up on this, this basic database functionality stuff that uh, other databases are wiping the floor with, floor with us with. Um, yeah, so great. Um, SQL Server 2022 has the greatest and least functions. If I had a kazoo or a party, one of those party things, I would, I would, I would do that right now. But I don't have either one, so just use your imagination. Pretend I am uh, interacting with, uh, with party noise-making uh, devices. Assuming that you've been to a party and you know what I'm talking about, um, maybe, 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 maybe one time you, you saw a presentation about parties and... Uh, Noisemakers were part of part of the presentation. Uh, you could you could fill in that blank if you are 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 not a t hyper social being who works with databases. Would be shocking, wouldn't it? <clears throat> uh, it's like like that joke about uh, about uh, I don't know. I guess IT people in general. It's uh, how do you tell the difference between an introverted IT person and an extroverted IT person, and it's that uh, an introverted person stares at their shoes while they talk to you, and an extroverted IT person person stares at your shoes while they talk to you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's that. So uh, we have the greatest and least function. I'm going to show you two examples of them. Uh, one is just across two columns in one table, and the other is across two columns uh, in join tables. And uh, honestly, for the single table thing, it turns out fine. Uh, but for the double, the join table thing, uh, I am a little bit less in love with the query plan. Um, it's, it's a bit slow for me. Right? I don't, don't enjoy slow queries. Uh, and this is, this is going to be true of oh, well, other examples. Well, well, well I'm going to show you. So if you're not on SQL Server 2022, right, and you're, or whatever, other problems you have in your life, uh, there is a way to emulate the greatest and least function, greatest and least functionality. Ooh. Um, it's, it's too early for me to be drunk, so don't, that, that was just a mouth malfunction, a mouth function. Uh, you can emulate the greatest and least functionality uh, by doing the old cross apply trick, um, supplying the, the columns that you need to greatest and least as values. Right, and then aliasing uh, that as a single column to reference, and then um, from there uh, finding the max of whatever is in that aliased column, so whatever comes out of combined date. You can emulate greatest and least functionality doing that. Uh, the problem is that uh, you know performance for this sort of thing is not all that hot. Um, you know, again, for the single table query, it's not that big a deal. Uh, but for the multi, for the join, and if you're, you know, doing other stuff, that's a three and a half seconds. The greatest version of this was like th was only about 500 or so milliseconds faster. So performance isn't necessarily great for that. Uh, and uh, batch mode does change the picture a little bit, but not enough to um, not enough to make me happy. So 
if you do need to emulate the greatest and least functionality in SQL Server, you may want to write in, you know, you're, you're unhappy with the speed of the query. If you write it the, the way that I just showed you and speed is fine, like you're not worried, like, like performance is good enough, don't worry about this. But if you're unhappy with performance, uh, you can always rewrite the query a little bit to do some uh, earlier aggregations. Um, I, I have another video uh, about SQL Server performance where uh, it just the optimizer just doesn't spot an opportunity for uh, earlier aggregation and um, the performance sucks and we have to kind of tell SQL Server what to do. Uh, so we have we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna do we're gonna aggregate early on our own the max score from posts and the max score from comments and then we're going to use uh the the cross apply just to continue with the emulation of the the greatest and least functionality we're going to just going to do this and uh this will be a lot faster right the early aggregation allows us to kind of hit these two tables uh bring the rows that we need to figure out the the max of uh a lot faster right so we oh geez louise zoom it I hit control. Why are you f messing with me? Why? Uh, we do this. We do the early aggregation here. Uh, and then we do a secondary aggregation to bring things uh, down to one row even further here. And uh, this all takes about, well, it's another real curious case of uh, uh, operator times and execution plans looking real stupid real bad uh kind of embarrassing actually uh this this query doesn't take two seconds as the, the gather streams operator might have you believe it really does take 1.059 seconds uh yeah no oh. summer interns uh well yeah, that's about that. All right. Well, now I'm just depressed. Um, thanks. Thanks, SQL Server, for, for that. Uh, let's just wrap this up with the demo to show you uh, that that can also work well for a single table query. Um, not that this was slow before, but uh, you, 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 can, you can express uh, the, the logic in many different ways that can, that can help with performance in many different situations. Uh, Usually, I find when I'm query tuning that uh, I, I need to guide SQL Server towards doing aggregations a lot earlier uh, than it sometimes does, and you know, usually uh, that th those those uh, those as, as long as there is a meaningful reduction in the number of rows via the, those aggregations, uh, you should see pretty decent performance improvements. You know, like comparing um, this plan up here with the greatest and least, right? And, run this again. Uh, this is real goofy because SQL Server scans both indexes. Uh, there is no early aggregation before the join and the aggregation only occurs at the very end. Uh, for some reason SQL Server doesn't think to do anything between getting up 17 million rows and 20, almost 25 million rows and joining those fully together and then aggregating stuff. The optimizer is like, no, this will be fine. All right, so we have our initial aggregation here and then our final aggregation here. Uh, but um, like I said, my general experience is that it is a lot better and faster if you guide SQL Server towards the correct, uh, the correct early aggregation strategy like this. Um, even though this filthy idiot liar of a gather streams operator is still trying to convince us that our query took two seconds to finish, it really took one second. So, all right. Well, I wasn't drunk before, but I think I'm going to go start on that now because well, I mean, look at that. Look at that thing in front of you. I think that thing's real ugly. Uh, we're going we're gonna, to gonna have to have to drink to cope with that. Sorry to say there's no other alternative. Uh, I have, I've jumped out of every single window that I have available. The glass is shattered. Uh, it is no longer as dramatic and exciting an exit as it, as it was when the glass was there. Uh, so now, now we're, now we're just down to, to drinking, to deal with these inconsistencies. So, <laughs> uh, 
I'm being dramatic. Calm down. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I hope you learned something. I hope that uh, you will not be as offended as I am at these operator times and query plans. They are truly, truly awful things sometimes. And um, if you like this video, thumbs ups are good. Um, inspirational comments. Live, laugh, love. Um, add years to your life and life to your years. Peanut butter and onion. Uh, all, all nice things to hear about. Um, if you like SQL Server content, uh, despite this monstrosity that you see before you, uh, you can subscribe to my channel and we could at least laugh at this stuff together. Uh, I probably won't be drinking on camera because that would be very unprofessional, but um, what, what happens below this line stays below this line. Lucky for you. So, um, yeah, anyway, uh, subscribe, like, comment. What else? What else can you do on YouTube? I don't know. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching.